there's a movement going on in the world of black hair. Today's styles are as diverse as the women who wear them. Meet Addie, who wears her hair straight and flowing. Do you feel like new Addie? While Mara Siri chooses a more natural look. She says it gives her the freedom to just wash and go. I prefer natural. I don't like to process my hair that much. And the chemicals, are they not go, they don't go with me. At Diva's Salon in Smyrna, Georgia, all styles, shapes, and colors are welcome. Salon stylist Shahira Lee says business is definitely booming when it comes to chemically relaxed hair. But she's learning that diversity is definitely the key to success in this ever-growing business. Here at Diva's, we have a diverse clientele. We have all type. I got to tell you, all type. This is a portion of a 7,000-pound batch of relaxers. Chris Rock's documentary, Good Hair, revealed that black hair is a $9 billion industry. Among other things, that film showed the world the lengths many black women go to to get straight and flowing hair. Now, one way is through weaves or extensions, which is human or synthetic hair purchased from a hair supply store. Or another way is to chemically process your own hair with lye, which is commonly called a relaxer. Now, this process can take more than two hours from start to finish, but for Addy, it's worth it. Addie, when you first started coming, how was it? My hair was in a almost bad state. <laughs> Say special. Yeah. Special stage. <laughs> you know. It it had broken and I had to cut it, you know, I had to treat it and I just tried to maintain it because the first time I came, you know, I was very comfortable. I liked the result. Everybody was complimenting and I came back. But for others, it's the natural hair movement that's in full swing. Many black women are now choosing to bypass all the chemicals to embrace their natural hair texture. And it's starting to take root beyond the salon. At first, when I went natural, one of the reasons why I always used to get it flat iron, uh, flat iron or blown out um, straightened was because being in corporate America, it wasn't as accepted. It's more than just the hair. It's just kind of being who you are and having the, the options to do what you want to do. At the Oh My Nappy Hair Salon in Atlanta, owner and stylist Erica Richardson says she's definitely seeing more black women embrace their natural hair now more than ever before. We've always been looking for some sort of validation. Us getting relaxer was us trying to identify with someone else to create our, create our identity. With this whole new movement, there has come information and products and just the whole acceptance. That in and of itself has just been inspirational to a lot of people. Richardson says starting a salon that bears the name Nappy is seen by many as a derogatory statement about black women's hair. But she explains the true meaning of the word. When the comb stops, your hair is nappy. Bad hair is, in my definition, unhealthy hair. It has nothing to do with the texture. She says she even got threats from other black women about the salon's name. I couldn't believe, you know, some of the backlash. I think it was the fear of loving themselves and embracing, you know, what someone had told them all this time was not good and it was ugly. Former hair chemical expert and stylist Robin Groover says when it comes to black hair, knowledge is power. And when you're dealing with chemicals, it shouldn't be taken lightly. I think that there should be some type of hair doctor uh, type of certification in order to do a relaxer. Groover even takes it a step further to talk about who should not get their hair chemically processed. Children should not get their hair relaxed because what happens, it changes the whole dynamic of the health early on, and it's really hard to recover. I would say someone with high level lift color should not get a relaxer. Um, people who hair is very fragile. The choice to go straight or natural has its pluses and minuses. Blackwomenshealth.com shares some simple rules to keep your hair looking its best no matter which style you choose. For relaxed hair, never relax damaged hair. Never allow less than eight to 10 weeks between relaxers. Moisturize hair to prevent dehydration and oil your hair and scalp to seal in moisture. And for natural hair, cleanse and clarify with shampoo and stabilize with a protein and moisturizing conditioner at least once a week. 
Moisturize your natural hair each day in order to prevent dehydrated hair and scalp. Groom your natural hair each day so that your natural hair will not web together or mat, even if you have locks or twist styles. The one thing these three stylists do agree on is exactly what good black hair is. Healthiness. Not only is your hair healthier, but your body, like I said, I feel like benefits from just having a more natural lifestyle. I just believe that society wants to be healthier from head to toe, inside and out. <laughs>